don't know about you guys at home, but it's always been a dream of mine to be able to throw down a dunk on a 10-foot basketball rim. Even though it's the same two points, it's just a simple layup. Something about that crash of the rim just is something different. So my goal in this series is to document my path from my current state, which is not being able to dunk, if we're being honest here, um, all the way up until throwing down dunks and maybe in the future going into other things like lobs, windmills, between the legs, who knows. But for now, we'll just start the journey and go with the flow. So essentially, um, what this series is going to be is documentation of my journey to be able to throw down dunks. Um, obviously, at the start, we're just going to go for an easy one-hander. But maybe down the line, I will continue the series and do road to a windmill, road to a between the legs, and who knows. But for now, I'm going to just stick to a normal, simple dunk um, to give you guys some backstory. Uh, I have back in high school, I'm in my junior year of college, back in high school, I was able to throw down a rim grazer here and there, but since then I've had knee problems and uh, long story short, I'm not there right now. For this first episode, um, I'm mainly going to be focusing on my rehab process from my uh, two injuries, which I will show. <laughs> Also be showing where I'm at right now uh, and how close I am to actually throwing a dunk down so now that we got that out of the way we're gonna talk about my little rehab process um, off rip we're doing uh, Patrick steps I did I think about two or three sets of these uh, around 25 reps uh, this helps big time with just my ankle mobility getting my knees right I try to do these as frequently as I possibly can um, after this you see I do a different variation of Patrick steps. Um, these instead of just going to the front, you go to the sides and the back. Uh, this helps big with just getting any like blood flow to the ankles and there's my, there's my sister, my cat going around. Uh, but yeah, this, this helps big time with uh, getting my ankle right. Uh, this next workout may look a little funky to you guys. I'm essentially just swinging a dumbbell in front of me. Uh, this is just to engage the uh, the bad ankle that I have. And uh, I don't really know what it does, but I saw Tony Crosby and Knees Over Toes guy doing this. So uh, shout out to them. And uh, after this, just a little bit of pogo jumps, get some blood flow there. Uh, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I do not know the science behind this. All I know is uh, it works. And that's about it. And then here, just me being kind of cute, doing an extra set with the cat. <laughs> so yeah, next we're going to move on to uh, knees over toes calf raises with these. Uh, on the way up, I'm going with both feet. And then uh, on the way down, I'm just going with my uh, bad ankle. This kind of helps build the strength again i do not know the science behind any of this all i know is it works again with these just like three sets of maybe 15 or 20 is what i aim for after this just some more uh patrick steps but this time weighted uh you know me just trying to push myself and uh again shout out knees over toes guy i swear to god i used to have so much knee pain and uh through doing this program uh it's helped big time and lastly, I'm just going to do a little bit of stretching. Um, I'm just trying to get that ankle back in action. Uh, since rolling, it's been super, super stiff. And uh, I'm just trying to get it right so I can start jumping off of it again like crazy. Um, and then after this, I'm going to just do some ABCs. I'm going to go all the way from A to Z. And I'm going to obviously speed up this process because I don't think you guys are too interested in uh, how I do that. But... Quick fruit snack break. And then lastly, just finishing it off in the sauna. This helps big time with my joints. Uh, shout out to Ma. Shout out to Mommy for having a sauna in the house. Thank you, Mommy. And now that we got the rehab process, I'm going to show some of uh, my best dunk attempts from right before I got injured. 
Um, as you can see in these videos, I'm uh, doing a very good job at grabbing the rim, but the uh, major problem is putting the ball in and grabbing the rim. Um, again, I just want to reiterate, these are like my very best attempts. Um, you can see right here with this one, I actually get up there, grab rim, and the ball just flies out of my hands. That's a, a big problem I'm having is I can't actually put it in. Pause. Um, but again, right here, get up, lose the ball, and grab rim. This is a, a huge problem. Again, something I think needs some major work is uh, my actual technique. Um, once I get it right and I keep on doing it, I'll be fine. But uh, right here, boom, you might say, is that a dunk? You don't even need to do this series. But if you pop it in slow-mo, grab rim, drop the ball. I hate to break it to you, but that's not a dunk. Um, and then lastly, here's me being ultra confident because I thought that was a dunk. And I think I'm Zion Williams. So if you made it this far, I want to say thank you for watching it all the way through. Uh, if you want to continue to watch this process, please like, subscribe, give me some support. And uh, thank you. Ah.